When I went up into space, true story, the first thing I saw out the window was Chicago. And it reminded me of that little girl who loved space and the fact that in order to be there, I had to have help and support. Even though I was a bright little girl, I needed help and support to be able to get all the way through to being up on the space shuttle. And it reminded me of some of the teachers that I had, my uncles, you know, my uncles, my aunts, you know, people in corporations, individual scientists who made it possible for me to be there. And so today I'm sending out a hashtag, um, say TKU to Mrs. Dorothy Miller, who was my sixth grade teacher, who, when I think about it, embodies everything that was important about being able to be a scientist. That is, she pushed me to excel. Today, Bear is celebrating this 20th anniversary by launching a program about saying thank you to a science mentor, role model, teacher, somebody who was important to them. And it's done through hashtag say TKU to whoever your science person you want to recognize are going online to say TKU.com. Every time someone posts say TKU to a teacher, to someone who is important to them in science, Bear is going to contribute a science experience. That science experience could be a visit to a museum, to a science park, to a zoo and that will all make up the fabric of us paying it forward. People say, how do we inspire children to have careers in science? Actually, children are already motivated and inspired around science. What we have to do is make sure that we don't demotivate them by telling them to memorize a periodic table to learn chemistry. No, you don't memorize a periodic table. You do the science experiments, the chemistry experiments that help you place the different molecules and atoms on the periodic table. That's how you remember it. The emphasis in Bayer's Making Science Make Sense program has been hands-on science education. Hands-on means that you do the experiments, you analyze the data and the results, that you do science the way scientists do it. We can use the fact that children considered science their favorite subject over reading, over social studies, over mathematics, to help boost science education because kids are already there. They want to be engaged. Right now, we're not using all the talent that we have available for us in this country. As we have not developed women and minorities in science, then we lose talent. To get more information, People can go to makingsciencemakesense.com, again, makingsciencemakesense.com, or to say tku.com. So the interesting thing is we're all in space right now. If you think about it, we're all in space right now. When you go up above the Earth and you leave the atmosphere, the remarkable things are the incredible colors and the views and that you can see the world go by underneath you. And it's just this incredible feeling for me. It was a feeling of connectedness to the universe. And that's the reason I remind myself every day I'm in space now and I'm part of the universe. By the way, children have this tremendous construct for learning. We come out, we're born excited about the world around us. We pick up the bugs, the snails. We're looking at the things in the couch, the slime that the snails have. And we try to figure out what it is. And that construct for learning, that construct around discovery, is what we have to support in hands-on education. So it's important for everyone to get involved and to say thank you. And they can do that by doing a hashtag tweet out, hashtag say TKU to whoever their teacher is. They can go online to um, say TKU.com in order to be able to post something online, a picture or other things about their mentors or people that were important to them in the sciences. Bear has committed to providing over a million hands-on science experiments by 2020. And what this means is that children will have an opportunity to do something hands-on with science, either through um, museums, through going to zoos, 
volunteers coming into the classroom to help to support their teachers by curriculum um, like asset programs that teach kids uh, about uh, insect growth and development where you have these hands-on ex uh, science experiences. Those are the kinds of programs that will make up this one million science experiences.